Um, and then I'm just drawing a, a string, which this is completely optional too, uh, on the screen, just telling them their final score so they know what it was in case they didn't catch it before they died. Okay, and then we just tell it when to go to the state. Uh, we're just saying if player health equals uh, zero, then we're just going to go to the game over screen. Okay, so let's save, build this, and run. And I'm just going to intentionally die here. Uh, so, okay, we're in our game. <laughs> All right, so, and I guess I could get that, f your final score was zero. Um, actually, let's just rerun this real quick and I'll kill a couple things just so I make sure that my score is displaying correctly. Okay. Okay, we'll leave it at 70 scores, so. Okay, your final score was 70. Game over, try harder next time, noob. Press escape to return to the main menu, okay? So, um, you hit escape and it just goes back to your main menu alright and then see here's the other thing I do need to fix which I didn't really look into this um, but when you hit enter um, actually we'll, we'll cover that right now too you hit enter and see it's just gonna bring you right back to your game over um, screen you know why because when we we never returned our player health back to its full amount again. It's still at zero, so when it goes into the playing state, it's saying, wait, his health is still zero, so we're just going to go right back to the game over screen. Okay? So what we need to do there is we go into our update for our playing um, state, and we need to add a couple more things here. So what we need to say is uh, um, p.health is equal to 200 again. Okay? Um, we want to reset this player score, so um, HUD dot player score equals zero. So we want to um, just restart at zero again. And actually, no, actually we don't want to put these here because this is going to update every frame. So it's just going to keep resetting the player health to 200. So cut those out. No, we don't want them there. We want that to happen when we're hitting the escape key to go back to our menu. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to stop our music. So we're in the game over screen, right? We hit escape. We're going to we're going to switch the. Uh, let me see here. Um, okay, we want to add. I didn't even do this when I was testing. That's crazy. Okay, so we're going to add a couple things when we hit escape. We are going to. Um, Set our player health back to 200. Okay. Um, is that what we have it at? Uh, but yep, 200. Because we had to do 200 just to make our health bar longer because of the way we worked our health bar. Okay. So we're going to set our player health back to 200. We're going to set our um, HUD dot player score um, equal back equal to zero. And let's see. Where did we initially start our asteroids and our player ships? Because we wanted to start over. So position, uh, that's what we did. We set um, our asteroid. Position equals new position. So what did we do with that? See, this is what I do in my testing, guys. And then I just sit here and I figure it out. And then I get all my notes together when I'm, I know everything works. And then I put the video out. But I didn't prepare very well for this one. But for right now, we can leave it like this, okay? Um, and if we save it, see, now that we have uh, um, for our game over state, now at least we're resetting our player health to 200 and our score to zero. But the problem is, and you're going to notice here, is the enemies aren't going to start way up at the top of the screen again. They're just going to they're going to keep going wherever they left off when the game over screen popped up. So you'll notice that here, okay? So I'm going to just uh I'm going to enter the game, kill a few things to get our score and then die, okay? Bite it now. So your final score was 130. Um press escape. So if we hit escape, it's going to bring us back to our game menu and it should have reset our player health back to 200 and our score back to 0. So if we hit enter now, it brings us back to playing. But notice, our enemies and our asteroids just kind of, you know, they just kind of took over where they left off.
when our game ended. And uh, I guess we could just set our, uh, we could go back here and we could do a lot of stuff like for each enemy and enemy list, you know, we could reset their position and all that. But um, if you're dying to an asteroid or an enemy ship or a bullet, when you come back in the game, obviously that bullet or asteroid or spaceship is going to be destroyed, so you're not at an immediate risk. Um, ideally, yes, we would want to reset our spaceship and asteroids back to the point they were when the game first starts, um, but I'm really not going to worry about it right now. And if you guys want to look into that, go for it. Um, like I said, this is a tutorial series, and it's, it's, I'm here to teach you guys uh, you know, the methods for creating a game in XNA. So you can you can go with whatever you want after this once you have the knowledge to do these things, okay? Um, but that's it. So uh, run it one more time. Uh, we we hit enter to go into the game. We're playing. All right, we're dying. Your final score was 40. Game over. And all this is is that image I made in Paint.net. I put some text in, made the background transparent. And then if we hit escape, it brings us back to our main menu, okay? But uh, if you guys like the video, toss me a like so we can get more people viewing this. Uh, I've had kind of an in, a flood of new subscribers, which has been great. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, I don't know if you are telling friends or, you know, it, but it's awesome, okay? I, you know, the, the feedback makes me want to keep going and, and want to do another series after this, okay? And uh, you guys have been really cool. And uh, if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe if you guys haven't yet. And until next time, in our next video, when we're going to be working on cleaning up some of our code, peace! You know what? Actually, um, <laughs> I just finished recording this video, and uh, I'm, I'm coming back because I said we could just leave the enemies uh, and asteroids where they left off, but I don't think we're going to do that. Um, I just looked into it real quick, and I thought about it, and I'm like, we could just clear our lists so that when the game restarts, it'll just start our enemies back where they naturally spawned uh, at the beginning of the game. So all we need to do is add these two things to our, um, when we're updating our game over state, just add uh, enemy list dot clear and asteroid list dot clear. So now if we save and run, okay, I'm just going to get a cut, you know, hit enter, get a couple points, die, and then we'll see how this works out. <laughs> Okay, so we hit escape to go back to our main menu, and now this should clear our enemy list and our asteroid list, reset our player health, and put our score back to zero. So we should just be starting out fresh uh, like we did uh, when the game first started. We hit enter, and good. They're all starting at the top. Okay. One last thing we can do, you notice how when the game started, our player started way up here at the top corner of the screen. I'll show you. Uh, escape. Enter. See how he's starting way up here as a starting position? It's a horrible starting position. What if an asteroid randomly was spawning like right on that Y uh, area, that X area right there? Uh, okay. So all we do for that is we go into our player class. Uh, we set his starting position to this. We're, we'll set it further down the screen. So on the X axis, we can just start it. Um, we'll start it at um, 400 minus... Um, Texture dot width uh, divided by two. Okay, so basically with my screen, since it's 800 wide, um, that's just going to set him to the center of the screen on the x axis. And then uh, we'll go, I'm 950, so we'll just go like 900 uh, down. All right, so we'll save that. And uh, now we'll play. And he should start down at the bottom of the screen uh, somewhere in the middle. Uh, what did I do here? Okay. Divided by two. We're going to debug. Um, you know what? We'll just go with 400. 400 and 900. That'll work. Okay. Now we start here at the bottom. <laughs> Uh, hit escape, enter, and I guess he's going to see if we need to reset his position too. Um, so we can just say um, player positions 400, 900. So if we go back into our game one, we can also say um, p dot position um, equals new vector 2 
uh, 400, 900, just so it sets him back to where he originally was, okay? And I'm not going to run it because I know that'll work. All right, but uh, coming back in the video, guys, uh, like I said, if you like it, go ahead and toss me a like. Um, and all you need to do is clear those lists, and the enemies will start um, from their natural positions like they do in the beginning of the game. All right, guys, peace.